What's going on guys, Kyle Sorensen here. Mr. Chase Larson and I were out playing around on the beautiful but windy Lake Winnebago today. And uh, needless to say, you know, we got on some fish. It took a little bit to find the tactic that was working and we decided to rip out the boards and we found a certain bait, number five flicker shad, the growler, an old color pattern. That was working and we put some nice fish in the boat. Now you know me, uh, when it comes to conservation on our walleyes here on our system, I am a huge, huge, believer of it and uh, a proponent of anything related to conservation of the walleyes. Don't get me wrong, I'll keep some nice eaters from time to time and stuff, but uh, you know, I, in all my years of fishing this system, I've only kept one walleye, one walleye over 20 inches. That was when I was four years old. And uh, unfortunately today, we got a really badly hooked, uh, about 22, 23 incher. And uh, you know, it was right in the gills and everything like that. It lost a lot of blood. As soon as we set it into the live well, I was pretty worked up, you know. As soon as we set it in the live well, it went right belly up. And uh, you know, literally, literally 25, 30 minutes of uh, you know holding this thing in the live well, straight up, you know, cleaning that water out, and having the aerator going in the live well uh, for you know that period of time, definitely, definitely uh, helped this fish. And this fish now is extremely lively right now. It really is. And uh, we're gonna just, I'm just gonna lift it up here. Whoa! <laughs> you can see how lively it is. I mean, you know, and I, I'm gonna try to lift it up here. Be, I'm gonna be gentle with it if I can even get it. I don't wanna put my hand in the gill if I don't have to, but we'll see if I can't uh, hold it up here. But a decent fish, okay, right there. Well, we'll set it right back down. Oh my gosh, I am getting soaked. But you can see what some time and some effort, and I'm soaking wet now, what some time and effort puts into you know making that fish, you know rehabilitating that fish, making it healthy again to be released. And uh, you know if you're like me, you let the big girls go to uh, grow, right? And you know honestly, you know it, it makes me feel good when I'm able to release a big fish that uh, you know that I was able and lucky enough to catch. Unfortunately today, Chase was the one that caught this one. Uh, but uh, you know just a nice quality fish, not a huge fish or anything like that. But you know, what I'm getting at here with this whole spiel is, if you guys are out here, you believe in conservation like I, if you see a fish, a bigger fish, that you think is badly hooked, spend some time, just spend some time rehabilitating that, rehabilitating that fish in that live well, because, well, the proof is in the pudding here. You know, it lost a lot of blood, it was belly up, and again, it took 25, 30 minutes to get this fish all spunky again. So we're gonna get a couple pictures of this, uh, of this fish and let it back go. But I can tell you one thing, tonight's gonna be a fun night uh, because we are giving away a brand new net. So make sure to check that out on the OB Outdoors Facebook page because we got a ton of gear given away uh, in the you know next uh, you know couple weeks, few weeks here and uh, can't wait uh, to pull those names for that equipment. So I guess uh, for me and Chase Larson himself, till next time, tight lines, stay dry. <laughs>